We're on a podcast. Um, I'm very busy, Jen. Oh my God. Jen, I've got a lot going on. Deloise has no, no time for me anymore. You know what? I'm going to do a Deloise. You ready? Oh my God. <laughs> what you can't see is the open mouth face with the smile. I have a question for you, Jennifer Stone. Yes, David Deloise. Do you like, do you like that I say Jennifer Stone? I do. I don't, I don't know don't... why you've always felt the need to say my full name, but I, I like it. I think I like, it's just a solid name. It's a good name. Know? It's and a I... very common name. There's seven at my pharmacy, but yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's a. It's a very common. It's like it's like John Smith. It's a very common name. Um, I'm shocked I was the only one at that. Question. Yeah. Is the reason why you usually refer to me as Deloise is because David Henry? Yes. Ah. Or I would either call you Deloise or Double D. Oh. Although Jan, I'm Triple D. David Dominic Deloise. Oh, that's right. I I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to go slide right into it. What was your favorite <laughs> outfit? You see that? How I did you that? Did. He's, he's, he's fit, <laughs> physically sliding. This changes all the time because Harper's outfits were so elaborate and like yeah. one of my favorite things about Harper. Um, so I get asked this question all the time, um, but it changes constantly. Today, so, so today, today. <laughs> so today, um, I think I really like. There was one that I loved because I love period costumes, um, and there was one that she had where I guess like it was like one scene, but it was something where she was like in a colonial garb. Okay, and it was because she had like a report. That was in like colonial oh, and you, times. Oh, you were going to give the report with this? Yeah, and it was on. completely unnecessary that she be wearing all of this stuff. It had nothing to do with like the report. It was just something she was. It was not like a presentation. She was just turning it in and decided to wear that that day. Like it's so. But I, it was only in one scene. It was only in like and like it was like a half a page uh, too. It was like nothing. I can't wait to get to that episode. Yeah, it was so fun because I got to wear like the hoop skirt and the bustle and like and, I, and the corset and I love and all that. And the hoop skirt is just to keep it out. Yeah, right? it's it's like a it's like a mesh thing underneath. I don't, I've yeah. never worn a hoop skirt. Well, you so need I don't to know. you need to get with it. <laughs> you need to we need to get you a hoop skirt yesterday. I did wear yeah in in the movie uh, the the um. Selena's trying to, uh, I don't know, there's a spell, and I turn into Maria, and Maria turns into Oh, that's into right. Me, yeah, yeah, I remember and I, that. And I was wearing, a, like, a, a one-piece with a sh yeah. shawl. A had, had that feel a for you. Well, it felt- A, a sharap? I don't know. What's it called where you a, put it around? A sarong. A sarong. I like a go. sharap, though. <laughs> it's a sharap. God bless you. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I was wearing heels. I was oh, wearing like, was that your first time wearing heels? Yes. Oh, well, okay. I mean, Jen, let's- Well, <laughs> I don't want to hear about your 20s. <laughs> But they were thick platform heels, okay. and I twisted my ankle so many times. I mean, like yeah. it, it was, I had to walk gingerly, you know? Yeah. That was not my favorite outfit, um, <laughs> but I embraced it. My favorite outfit on the show was, uh, I think it was a Halloween thing. I was dressed up as D, D man, D battery man. Oh, yeah. And it was like one of those Superman costumes. Yeah, because you had, had like the muscles Muscles, in muscles it, right? and everything. Yeah. And I loved it so much. That I I had to go uh, to Seven Eleven or something like that, and I went around town <laughs> in, my, in my outfit, and they were like, "Is that Jerry Russo?" No, it's, it's D, -Man. D Battery Man. Uh, I can't. Every time you say D Man, I just I hear D Bag. I'm sorry. D -bag, like a, I hear D Bag, a like a douche bag. bag. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I know it's okay. not. I just no, it's hear. It's fine. You can think of it's me. Fine. As a... It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. But why um, did you love that costume so much? Because it was muscles. It was muscles. I had I had uh, uh, you know a six pack, and I was I was. There's a great picture of me and my youngest, uh, Dylan, mm -hmm. um, on set. And I remember that yeah. picture. Aww. But there was another costume that I had, which was the, I was dad bugging out where I was yeah, dressed as like, the cockroach. cockroach. Yeah. Yes. It was a, oh, who's that? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. on. My, hello? <laughs> hello? Yes. Oh, Shannon, you're there. Hold on one second. I'm going to put you on the screen. Okay. And. There she is! I told you you had a bad. Shannon Moore, everybody. <laughs> she did wardrobe on Wizards of Waverly Place. <laughs> hey, Shannon, how's your day going? <laughs> it's going better now. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you we're for great. being here. And we we appreciate you. And we were just talking about our favorite outfits from the show. Do you remember the? it was like D Battery Man or something where I, I had like a Superman costume on? Do you remember that? It was like a Halloween thing. Oh my, do you know what, what? I remember when you were the large bug. Yes, yeah. I was the cockroach. What was, we were, I was trying to figure out what was the stuff. I mean, I know that was makeup, but what was this like the gooey stuff? Was it, I, I remember it being lube. That's what I remember. What? It was it lube? I remember it being lube. <laughs> of course that's what you remember. 
Of course, I know, right? <laughs> we got it from David's bathroom. Yes, exactly. Oh my god. We just had it on standby. Not my bathroom, David Henry's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Well, so we're we're kind of taking everybody down memory lane. And so I would love I don't think I've ever actually heard this from you before, but how did you like get the job on Wizards? Like yes. where were you at when you got the show? Like how did that whole process happen? <laughs> um, it was actually the first job that I ever had taking care of principal actors. I got in the union okay. a year before that and jumped on a big movie and then um, got offered this from the first designer, Liz Bass, and who I love and adore um, more than anything, and worked on the first season with her. And then it, and then yeah. it moved on and, and I was able to stay with the show even though she moved on to another show. So you had never done a television show before? No, I just did one movie. And I did background. What That's was the crazy. movie? Crazy! I would have never thought that. Charlie Wilson's War. Charlie Wilson's War. Oh, cool! War. Do you remember that movie? Charlie yeah, Wilson's I do. War? The one with Tom I, Hanks and Julie with Roberts. With Tom Hanks and Julie Roberts and Philip Seymour Hoffman. And oh, he yeah. said something in that movie that really hit me at the end. It was and like Philip they Seymour. finally got the 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 Contras, the 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 military stuff they needed, and then the Contras then turned into the Taliban who then attacked us. But at the very end. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman was talking about, and I'm going to butcher his what he said, but yeah. he was like, "What's good? What's bad? Over time, it changes." Because like he told the story where like, a little boy uh, got a horse for his birthday, uh, which was so good, and then he fell off and broke his leg, which was bad. But then because he broke his leg, he didn't get recruited into the war. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay. So over time, certain things happen. But what was your okay. favorite <laughs> outfit on the show? Over. For who? I I particularly love the race car with Harper. Yes. I you know I still have that. I still And those damn rubber duckies. Those oh rubber God. duckies that I had to keep <laughs> that yeah, I had to they keep kept glue in falling right off. Cause I remember, God bless you guys, because there were so many outfits that were not that they were perishable. Like the fruit roll up dress or like the God, do you remember Did someone eat the fruit roll fruit roll up no, dress? No, but they just something? they kept like falling off. Uh. They kept falling off because they're not meant to be on a dress. That oh, and do you yeah. remember the the God? It smelled so bad that um, candy cane. No, no, it was when you, me, and Jake we were in the carousel. Oh my God, that was after I broke Island. my shoulder. Yeah, and it, it was it was beef jerky, and it smelled like shit. It oh smelled my God. so bad. <laughs> So we were like stuck in this like small thing. Do you remember that? I do. God, it smelled so bad. But I remember you so distinctly on so many of those outfits. They would just be falling apart. And especially like the fashion show episode. Because so many of that stuff was like not like sustainable. Oh like it was God. like paper or like. Oh, I wanted to ask you this. Didn't at some point <laughs> um, Disney was like, Selena has to wear these six different outfits you have to work them in the show because then they manufactured those outfits and then sold them at like Target or something. Yeah, I right? don't remember this. Was this a thing? Isn't that didn't that happen? That was a weird thing that they did that they would pay Julie separately for. Tell us what you remember about that. I remember it would piss people off because I don't think Julie ever got any type of royalty for it. I think that they would have us do these photo shoots and then we'd never see anything again from it. And then I, later on, it would appear on dolls. That sounds a lot yeah. like Disney. That sounds right. They really, do do yeah. the sound, do the sound. Mm, Disney. <laughs> that's a that's a running thing, by the way. It's just anytime something happens or they're cheap, you just, mm, Disney. That's what happens. I have another question for you. Um, were there any wardrobe mishaps other than David Henry's jeans okay. being too tight? <laughs> other than David Henry wanting his jeans to be that tight? Ah! Um, no, I'm messing. Um, uh, well, you sweat a lot. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, my God. I just did a spit take. Shannon. That, that was something that was else. Like a, that listen. was... It's all about me sweating, huh? That's the mishap. Thank you, Shannon. Next guest, <laughs> please. You, you're you get hot very easily. Yeah, I mean, he was just before we started this. He was literally was like, "I'm spitzing, I'm spitzing, I'm Italian. I, I run hot. hot, I run hot." I'm embarrassed now. Don't you know be what embarrassed. I, you know what I used to do? I would get ice water and I would drink ice water to lower the temperature oh. of my body. And that set was freezing. You still ran hot. Uh, yeah. Well, I mm -hmm. guess. I mean, we're under lights. You're right. right. The that's set true. Was that's freezing. true. Doesn't that mean 
And that might mean you have a good metabolism though. Also too, I wanted to know, so walk me through, what was the process for you guys? Because I remember doing like fittings, like Monday through Wednesday. But what was like the process on your end? Right. Of getting everybody dressed and like setting up the costumes for all of like- Like per each show. Yeah, for each episode. Well, so I mean, after you, you figure out the scripts, obviously. Then you meet with all the producers. Then Disney comes and tells you what colors you could Disney. use. Disney. Wait, they, can't, they said what colors you could use? Oh, yeah. Like, you're not allowed to do black or white. And you oh have God. to do um, – every single person has to wear a different color. So if it turns out that you're wearing, say, blue, and mm-hmm. later on in the day, Jerry's wearing blue, and you guys are together – you can't wear blue. Like, so we have to actually figure out, yeah, and do lineups and see who's in what color and no one can be in the same shade. And then Disney likes to be like, well, can't you find like a salmon color or like (laughs) some other situation that isn't that? So it's basically, we have to create the rainbow for every scene, which is pretty much like when you look back at everything and you look at even your, your, the sets, everything is like a rainbow, right? Um, and then when we go to run throughs, that's why I would go to run throughs. So I'd watch you guys. So let's say you were wearing an orange outfit and you sat on the orange couch, then Jill and props would help me and put a pillow behind you, or we'd put a blanket on top Because we had the green pillows on the couch. Yeah. So those were certain times where like, if you wore something that clashed or sat next to something that maybe, or stood next to like a wall that was, um, like, I think the lockers were blue and yellow, right? Yeah. So if you stood next to a blue or yellow wall... You'd have to have some yes, type of help to help you. But what was the biggest, you know, like mishap on the show other than David Henry's jeans? Selena, all of her um, jewelry. So she'd always be oh, in a rush to get back to set. Yeah. So there's many times where she would run to set and then I'd be running behind her, like carrying all of her accessories and making sure I could get it on her and checking my photos to make sure that all the continuity was good, especially during a live audience. Right. You know? And was that, so. were we doing Polaroid photos then? No, it was over. Or did we, do, I mean. We had digital. No, we're not we that digital. old. Come wait a minute. On. Shannon, take it easy. Just sit down. Oh, wait, you are sitting. Uh, but it used to be, for the people who are listening and oh don't know, that for wardrobe, yeah. you used yes. to take a Polaroid picture sure. of every single actor in every single scene, and you'd have yes. 100,000 Polaroids, right? No, we had yes. a digital, because I remember yeah. you with and the digital camera. Say- then we would call each other like I would have a can with like a rope and David would have a can <laughs> with a rope. And <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? What'd you say? Wait, and hello? Whenever, oh my God. And whenever we would walk to set, it was uphill both ways, like in the <laughs> snow. In the, in the snow. <laughs> oh my God. Um, no, because we were rewatching. So we've been rewatching the first season. Yeah. And you know what I forgot? I forgot Selena had those freaking hand warmers. Do you remember that the first season? All she wore were those freaking... Like, like gloves. Hands, yeah, they were like the fingerless yeah. gloves or like the hand warmers. Yeah. Um, and a your bit question ago. to her, which yeah. Shannon, I didn't actually have to ask because she basically answered it five different times. Don't, don't you love the but glasses? The question switch? was, uh, what is the one thing you feel the show gave you that no other show had topped ever, uh, even now? Yeah. So she said yeah. several times that her her feeling on the show was that. Uh, um, we were the most genuine, like yeah. our relationship with her is something that she's never been able to uh, uh, repeat in her life kind of thing. When she said it felt very safe. Yeah, exactly. Which I think it, was, I, I felt that way too. Yeah, she was super sweet. Mm-hmm. She's in New York right now doing her, her new show, which obviously is not as good as Wizards. No, I'm kidding. Um, but she has a question for you, Shannon. Oh my gosh. So apparently uh-huh. her question was, do you remember giving her the sex talk? <laughs> That was her question for you. Do you remember? Which I can absolutely see happening, by the way. <laughs> I think she's still laughing. Jen, I think you were there during one, yeah, one I, of that. I think, I think so. You, oh my God. I love that she actually that was <laughs> that's the question. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I I thought the same thing. I was like, of all the questions, that's the question. But do you remember <laughs> having that conversation with her? <laughs> I re- I mean I remember a few of them. Obviously, one stood out a little bit more to her. <laughs> but, um, oh, God, man. I, I have to say, like, 
it makes me just emotional. Oh, I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> it was a family. Just thinking of yeah. just being with you guys. and We were a family. I always tell people this, like, because this was one of my first shows yeah. ever. It was one of my, it was my first show that I actually was a, was a huge part of. I still remember Brian and camera and Tom coming up to me and telling me when I was crying on our last show and saying, you have no idea how lucky we are. And you have no idea what a big show this is and how we're all family. This doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't. Yeah. It just, it just doesn't. And it's one of those things like, cause now I've had children. It's one of those things that everybody says, you don't know a love until you have a baby, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it's like, you know it, but you don't know it until it happens. Yeah. And now I've been like in the business for, I mean, I don't understand cause I'm still only 25 years old, but I've been in the business <laughs> for like 20 years and um, I haven't, I haven't had that same feeling like that. It's just, you know, it's, yeah. it's yeah. special. So having those talks with, with you guys and and doing your prom and doing yeah. the yearbook and watching yeah. you guys grow up was just so, such special memories, you know, that I'll never forget. And we all got close. I mean, when you think about it, like Dave, I mean, you, you, we talk all the time. It wasn't like, Oh, what's Shannon's number to get her? It's like, Hey friend, do you want to talk for a little bit? It's that's how close we still are, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just, special I'll stop now no, 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 it no is. it's lovely and it's, it's so interesting to me because I, I and and I I didn't realize that it was your first show beyond doing Charlie Wilson's war but you know I, I think it was a first for a lot of us in a lot of ways you know what I mean I'd never done a tv show before and, mm -hmm. and I know a lot of us had done one that had if, if we'd done one before maybe not one that had gone that long right you know and so mm -hmm. I hear that from a lot of us and then just how impactful it was and how special it was i mean we just keep hearing that over and over and i'm i'm so thrilled that we all had this kind of shared experience that was the same yeah and and you know? and also i mean for me uh i really i i, I knew that at the time and i really embraced yeah. that and i loved it i i i think i i said this uh, on another uh, episode but i wish i had kind of just chilled out a little more, like uh, been a little more uh, uh, relaxed and not try to make it as good, like the yeah. best, like perfectionist kind of thing. But um, I'm by saying that I'm remembering, you know, I directed seven episodes of Wizards yeah. and I remember I, I had I had to come in and be, you know, the director and not like, oh, I'm the actor. Look at me. I'm funny. You know, I had to be like in charge. <laughs> can, of you, can you do that one more time? Yeah. Um, look at me. I'm the actor. <laughs> and then. Uh, I also remember that working with certain actors, like we got to play and I got yeah. to play with David and Jake. I, every once in a while I had to be like, just, just say the line, you know, like, you know, and then with Maria, mm -hmm. she wouldn't cross. She, I would be like, okay, so I need you to cross over here to, you know, cause you both are saying the same thing and I need you in a two shot. And she was like, well, well why should I cross? Yeah. And I was like, oh God. So that was a little tricky. But then when you, and for the people who don't know this, <clears throat> when you're doing the show, you do camera blocking. So you do all the blocking with the actors and then they go away and all the uh, stand-ins do the blocking so you can set up the cameras. And then if you had to change anything, yeah. the uh, uh, stand-in would say to the actor, well, you have to cross on this line or you have to do this. Yeah, yeah. Well, Maria... Listen to the 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 stand in. Oh, I remember, so yeah. I just would tell the stand in the direction I wanted her to go in, and I mean she would do whatever the stand in said, but not what I said. So I would just tell the stand in, <laughs> which you know that's how you do oh directing God. if somebody's not wanting to walk around the stage, you know. Oh my God. And it's all about, if I may, it's justifying why you're going. Like if you have to go over there, go grab your purse or go do something. Like give it. A, I I hate when people enter. Right. Uh, a sitcom yeah. and they're like i'm entering to stand here in my mark totally you know it's like you right. have to find right. that motivation right. but and you know shannon's like this has nothing right. to do with me and what i know this is back to shannon <laughs> you liked you thought i did a good do job directing that i became serious and you thought you you came up to me and you're like you're uh you're, you didn't have a deep yeah, voice like, like that <laughs> I was like, like, did she go through puberty? Is that what happened? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. You were like, well, you're you're very serious. And I, I I like this. This is a good side of you. Am I correct in saying that? I did. I did. I didn't want to be near you, but I but it was a great What the fuck does that mean? So I was an asshole? <laughs> she was like, you were on a huge power trip. No, no, but kidding. you did a good job. No, was I mean? No, no, no. All joking is I wanted you to to be able to do 
what <laughs> she wanted you to focus is that what you mean because honestly like because when you I, I wanted to correct me if i'm wrong but i remember when you guys got together you had a lot of fun and with like yeah, play. Well, always yeah so you want like I, I'm, I mean i don't want to put words in your mouth but you wanted him to focus right Yes. Okay. Exactly. I wanted you to focus. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> um, All the time, whenever I'm on my computer or on my phone, I see continuity photos of all of you guys. Like, oh no! <laughs> on my phone, mm. and all of a sudden it'll be like, like I'm like, oh, <laughs> I remember that. We were <laughs> such hams. Such we that photo. Do you remember the photo uh, yeah. we were talking about? Like some of the photos, um, but that one of like David Henry when he it's like on the mantel place in the loft. This is like a deep cut, but that one where he's going like or whatever was, was that a continuity set? photo? Was yeah. it on set? Oh, and it's and it's in the opening oh. of the show. But I think it was a continuity no, photo that they thought was it. like hilarious. Uh, yeah, we'll have to send it to you because it's a really funny like picture, and I don't do the face justice, but we're like. Gonna- yeah, yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, that but I think it was like a continuity photo. Have, yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous. We'll I mean, by it far, the best continuity photos are from Puerto Rico because I think we were all still drunk when I was taking them. <laughs> and so. that's where we shot the Wizards movie where Jen came out only for yeah. a brief time. Yeah. But we were in Puerto Rico yeah, and yeah. I, I have the Puerto Rico book. Of, there's a of Puerto the Rico picture. book? Yeah, there's all these pictures in this one. And there's there's a great picture of you. Uh, and I'm all over this one, by the way. Yeah, because you were drunk but all over Puerto really Rico. It, but you're in here in the wardrobe thing doing the Shannon, which is, here, I which is see, you're I just see. like this. You're just like hands up, shoulders up. <laughs> so wait, out, hold on. You know? There's a Deloise and then there's a Shannon? Yeah. There's, oh, I love it. And, and um, what, I have never even seen that. But hold for, but for reals, it. what was the biggest difference between the show and the and the movie? For, for people that, you know, like between a movie and a TV show, what's the biggest difference? I mean, I think in general, like the sitcom is kind of like cheap and cheerful and like you just have fun. It's like everyday life. It's your like it's your family. It's your home. It's, you know, easy. Right. And a movie we were in rainforest and shitty weather and fun weather and right. half drunk. And, you know, apparently and Jen the same was drunk or half drunk the whole time. So. <laughs> Question in the movie. We're wearing <laughs> these like. I don't know. I, I thought they were very out there, like the purple and black, like wizard outfit oh, yeah, things. Those like weird. who came up with uh, that? That was weird. Do you know? Like was that so written? So that was all that was all Mona Do you remember Mona May? Was she the doing <laughs> the, the on that okay, so, so it's oh. it's her fault. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't like oh, those outfits. No, wait, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Not... I'm, no, I remember because it was a different person. Because yeah. you you came from the show. It was Mona. But Mona was different because I remember. I came from the show. I remember Harper's outfit. I was like, why am I in this like Mona, but Madonna 80s thing? I feel like it was the most creative yet not creative thing to work on a Disney show. Mm. I mean, the the most creative part was honestly your dresses, but which ended up being scripted anyway. So, yeah, uh, but but, I mean, but also really too, wasn't... like I remember it didn't start that way. Like I remember like it started it the first season because it, it all kind of like snowballed from that, the like rainbow socks and the sunflower shirt in that first episode that we did. Right. A crazy 10 minute sale. And then it like, I think we started doing a lot of florals and like fruit and then we ran out of fruit and then it just started like, and then like, I, I think by like, <laughs> we did, we That's ran, so we were like, we can't do like apples and watermelon and right. anymore. And then I, I remember it like it did start to get scripted, but I remember like going in the in wardrobe and loving it because it was such like a cool process to see yeah. like you guys finding like some weird like seller from like Wisconsin who made the like little things that we yeah. were glued to the, you know, thing. And, you know, like, I don't know. Like, it was just so cool to see how you guys would like. It was fun. Figure was- that out and make it so much more than what was scripted because it, it was, was always it was more really than what fun. was on the page. It you know, you guys did such an amazing sport. job with you that. You loved it. You wore every single thing oh. that we ever put on you. <laughs> it made my job so much easier. It's I, I always joke it's so much easier to make people laugh when you're wearing like a, a cactus off the side of no, your but head. But also, you know? Jen, I mean, it's correct me if I'm wrong, but Jen was like at 14, she was 48 years old. You know what I mean? And like right? a duck right. fell off one time and I'm like, oh, Jen, it's such a it's so tough to win. And you're like, 
It's the job, Deloise. It's the job. You know, like I did you're not like, say that. I'm here working. Okay, you're you know? kidding. I, did I say no, that? I mean, does that is that not a good example? Like you were like, I'm. It's you yeah. Know, it's I'm here. True. I'm a I'm a worker yeah, and I'm doing my job. job. I was you know? always a professional. But like always a fourteen year old. Yeah, but a fourteen year old normally would be like, I don't want to do this. I want to go to my room. I will say, I will you know? say though, there were a very, there were quite a few times because these were my high school years, right? So there were quite a few times that I would invite like crushes to set. And then I would watch them stay for maybe 30 minutes, see what I was wearing, and then very quickly be like, mm, I'm good. Oh, and then wow. like turn back around. And so it didn't do, it wasn't great for F like my guys. love life. Well, sure. But I mean, we were teenagers. But it wasn't great for my love life, but great for comedy. Um, <laughs> I want to know one thing from Jen. Did you always know you wanted to get into nursing while you were oh, acting? Yeah. No, no. It was, it was something that I... I because after the show, I got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And that's where the nursing came from. Because it was something where it's okay. like I had this whole life-changing like diagnosis. And that made me go, okay, I want to make sure I help people that have to like go through this. Because I had a long period of like not knowing what was going on with me. Which is so frustrating. Which is yeah. so frustrating and like so hard. So and and so I like I experienced a lot of different like nurses and stuff. And so I still love acting and I still act. And so for me, that was a way that I could be able to like give back and help people that went through a similar experience but be able to still act yeah. at the same time so that's where that come from so no i mean i have no my dad passes out when he gets blood drawn like i have no medical people in my family it was never i always liked health sciences but like it was just never on my radar until i had that like big life-changing right. thing at 20. it's so amazing that you do that i'm well, and thanks, kudos Sophie. to you you're saving people's lives for your that job and, that and cleaning up their poop Cleaning up poop <laughs> that happens when you're a parent and a nurse. Yeah, it's yeah. true. And by the way, when Rocky. Shannon said that she's had children, you've given birth to a soccer team. A you small have four soccer team. boys. I mean, come on. You did well done. They're Are you so, done? Did you figure really out what cute. was causing it? Yeah, we finally we finally stopped. It's fine. <laughs> and and Shannon's husband, Jason, is working on the rookie, and I just did an episode, but we just didn't cross over one day. We, I, I missed them. For a oh, second. No. I was I was gonna ask you that, David. So you coming from a comedy Disney show and jumping into some drama roles, how is that for you? Well, do you I, it's wanna funny get back into doing more comedy or are yeah, you enjoying I, I just wanna do this podcast is all I wanna do. Uh but but <laughs> I doing I it's interesting because comedy or drama, comedy or drama, it's yeah, to people me, love that question. It's it's all the same because acting is coming from truth. If you're being honest with yourself about stuff, you, you know, because Jen and I teach acting to, to kids and you have to just get in touch with what makes you feel good, what doesn't make you feel good and how you're reacting to something. So if there's if there's comedy coming at you and you're you're doing, I mean, there is a cadence and a tempo sure. to, to sitcom writing and stuff. And it, it's, it is different. I think when you're doing a, a big movie and stuff like that, but Yes, I love doing all of it. And and I think my favorite thing I've ever done, I did a guest spot on Rosalian Isles and I played oh, a crazy yeah, person. Yeah, that was so Where funny. I uh, uh, kidnapped, uh, is her name Ward? Uh, she was on one of the two leading women who were both very talented. I kidnapped her and in my mind, I thought that she was my wife and I tied I her up this, and all this though. stuff and I got to really be all good. crazy which is fun. You get to explore. I think a yeah. big part yeah. of it, you tell me if I'm, I'm wrong, but I think all actors want to play like the crazy killer. You know what I mean? They, they want to let that come out. After Wizards, I played like a bunch of stuff where I was possessed by the devil and murdered everyone. That was like my three projects right best, after Wizards. Right? It's so fun. <laughs> it's a, I know. I was like, why, are, why do I keep getting hired for this? It was very, I was a little concerned, but. I, I think that one of the best things that casting people can do is hiring someone who's known for comedy yeah. to be the bad guy because then you're not There's something thinking, unsettling about it. Too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and I, I don't know I, right. if you do have to compare, I think comedy in my opinion is harder than doing drama. I agree because there, there is something about making someone feel is different from making someone laugh, you know, because well, we, it, it's very easy to know what makes you cry mm -hmm. versus what makes you laugh. Yeah. And, you and uh, we did a good job of making a lot of people laugh. Like Shannon, so. we have oh a, a special thing on our show called the crystal ball question. Are you ready? 
She's like, I don't know what you're doing. This is a wand. This is a a wizard's wand. I'm picking out a question and Jen is going to read it. Okay. Stand by. Here it comes. All right. What did it mean to you to be on Wizards at the time and now years later? Do you know what describes me the best is literally this onesie. Yes. Every onesie. You're wearing a plaid onesie. For people who can't see Shannon, she's wearing a plaid onesie. And and she looks glorious. Fantastic. It's glorious. Oh, my God. She's dancing around and perfect. She's shaking it. I love it. All right, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So many things. You can, you oh can, you can move. Take it easy. Wait, hold on. Here's the key question: Does it have I'm, pockets? Does it have pockets? It has pockets, but not Perfect. in the butt. So when you have to go to the bathroom, yes. it's the only thing you have to take off the I, whole thing. I know. So. Uh, okay, right. here's w- one more question. Okay, what would you have told yourself okay. when you were on Wizards? So where, where you are now? If you could have told yourself when you were on Wizards, what would you have said? Just to soak it up and enjoy it and to and to realize that, you know, those are the, you know, those are the golden years. They're, they're the best times. Yeah. It was a really, really special time in my life. Yeah. It was interesting. I saw Jake a few years ago and he was like, uh, Mr. DeLuise. He calls me Mr. DeLuise now. Um, I, I didn't realize how amazing the show yeah. was. I took it for granted. You know, now the other shows he's been on, huh. obviously, are not the same that we've experienced yeah. this kind of familial thing. And, you know, I, I, it's, we're lucky that we had it, but it's interesting to look back and go, yes, well, we're lucky that we got to experience that for yeah. five years, you know? And also I don't get residual checks, I mean, but the residual <laughs> aspect of it is you get to have family members yeah. that are not blood. Uh, and sometimes you get an occasional job from it. Yeah. You know, the people knowing you. This is a show, like I said, for like 20 years ago, whatever you want to say, 15 years ago, 15 years ago. And I've still like, I've had parties with you guys at my house. Like Selena was in my wedding. Her parents, like Mandy and Brian are like two of my best friends. Yeah. Um, I don't, I mean, I still talk to David Henry once in a while. Same thing with you, Jen. Roxy yeah. still does my hair. Yeah. Oh, Roxy, Roxy. Did, it did hair on the show. Oh, I love Roxy so much. Roxy did hair. She still does mine. I see her next week. Ruth and casting um, literally just knit my family beanies. Aww. You're kidding. Like, we, all, we all still just, um, Dana is one of my best friends in the world. I just, yeah. I just, it's. It's crazy, yeah. you know? Because I always think of like sets as like summer camp, right? Like you go, you have a great time, you get really close to everybody and then you all leave, you go home, right? Yeah. And then you, yeah. like you were saying, yeah. you kind of pull on to like a couple people, you hold on to them, but rarely yeah. do you hold on to most yeah. of the people. Yeah, no, and, and That's crazy. you know, uh, it's, we got lucky. We got a good group of people and uh, yeah, I'm so happy that you got to participate with us. Thank you for yeah, taking some time. thank you so much, Shannon. Uh, and we love you. I love you guys so much. I'm going to take some magic from my heart and send it Thank to you. you. And congratulations on, on the, the, the show you're doing now. It's, yes, it's awesome. congratulations. Are you, are you enjoying yourself? Now oh, you're in charge you. now of everything, yeah. right? Yeah. It's a beast of a show, but yeah, it's do it's good. It's big. It's a lot. Yeah. But, I'm but I, I miss you guys and thank you for, thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. We love you. We'll talk soon. We okay. miss you too, Shannon. So good to see you. <laughs> and there she goes away. You're obsessed with this one. <laughs> I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a question. Okay. To go out. Hold on. To wrap and up. Here, I'm gonna oh annoy my. you. you I'm that. gonna. Ta- I'm gonna take Stand that away by. from you. That's gonna d- but magically disappear. Okay. And you won't see it anymore. <laughs> You're gonna love this. In honor of the Waverly Substation, what's your favorite sandwich? PB and J, baby. Okay. All day. PB and J. Let's not do that one again. You it's, hate that one. I hate that okay. one because it's done. PB and J. I'm going to tell you. It's official. Deloise hates the sandwich question. It's official. There is a place called Bay Cities in Santa Monica mm-hmm. on, on 7th Street. And it's this Italian deli. And you mm-hmm. can order the Godmother. It's this huge Are you getting Italian a cut sandwich. of the sandwich? I want to get a cut of it right now. <laughs> it's the best. But it, you, it's just, there's, it's greasy and great. When you bite into it, you have to open your legs because the grease runs down your neck. Yeah. No. Um, so that's my favorite. Okay. I'll go. I'll, 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 I'll. All right. That's good. I'll take you there. I'll no, buy you the sandwich. Take me there if you don't and then like take it. me to the hospital after I go into diabetic <laughs> ketoacidosis. Okay. okay Perfect. Right. <laughs> all right, Jen. High five. We, another one. Such a good one. It was so I'll good to see, see her. I'll see you next week. Okay. We well, I'll see ya. Disney. 
Thank you so much for watching this episode of Wizards of Waverly Pod. And if you want to watch clips from the pod, then go to Podco YouTube channel. The link is in the description. Oh, and if you want to join our Patreon, the link is in the description for that too. You get exclusive weekly bonus content. Exclusive. All right. See you next week.